changing minds, changing attitudes, bring ourselves to live a peace and one, show some love, hold each other. Welcome to the Princess Pata Fabio Show. On this show, we change minds and change attitudes on how you perceive things in life generally. In life, we have so many questions but fewer answers on certain, certain issues that we are facing. And that's why I'm here, to give you the kind of answers that you may be looking for for the questions that you have. I am your friend, I am your sister, I am your coach. I'm here to make your day a blissful one. Welcome. We are changing minds and changing attitudes. You are watching The Princess Pata Pata Show. Well, onto the episode, I will be concluding on the topic, do women cheat and why do women change your minds and change your attitudes? If you've watched all the guests that we've had on this show on this particular topic, you will see that it has been established by our guests that women do cheat. Well, the number of women who cheat has been an increasing high, and I think it is time that we double into. Uh, knowing the reason why women cheat. And for the men who've been wondering, why is there so much increase in the number of men or women rather cheating? Well, join me. Let's look into it. Why do women cheat? I'm going to be telling you 16 reasons why women cheat. And number one on my list would be afraid of breaking up. So many women are afraid of breaking up. You want to ask, why would they want to be afraid of breaking up? I mean, I'm giving her everything she wants, so money is there. There's availability of resources, and she's comfortable. Let me shock you. Women will tend to go into a sexual relationship with another man just to get the sex sexual satisfaction, but would rather stay in a relationship where they are getting the material benefit from. And so for them, they don't want to break up from you as a man because you're providing them with the material comfort that they need. So they are afraid of breaking up, but sexually you are not the man. So they're looking for the man who will stimulate their intellect and make them feel more like a woman. Number two, they want to test the waters. Now, when you see a woman that wants to test the waters, this type of women that are probably in a relationship and they could pretend to be committed in this relationship, but actually, they are actually on the run looking for Mr. Right. And usually, test the waters is for those men who are not emotionally available and physically available to these women that they are in a relationship. And so this would make these women want to go test the water to actually find a man that would be emotionally available and also physically available available. Now, men, with that being said, on point number two, remember, as much as you're giving a woman the material needs that she desires, remember to be available physically and emotionally. And number three, she feels lonely. Ever heard of that phrase, loneliness kill? Most women are afraid to be alone. They're afraid to be lonely. They need that companionship. They want to be with somebody who loves them, somebody who cares about them. They want to have somebody that listens to them when they talk. And you know, sometimes men will say, oh, she just, sometimes women just talk and it doesn't make sense to me what she's saying, listening. She just needs the companionship. She just wants you to listen to what she has to say. Not necessarily that she's waiting for you to give her some form of um, advice or solution to the problem because that's most of the mistakes we've seen men making in relationship. You listen to what a woman is saying and you're ready to give solution. No, honey, she just wants you to listen. And sometimes when you don't listen to her, you kind of leave her emotionally drowned. She's kind of like, he didn't listen to me. So she becomes lonely because you're not allowing her to actually express herself. And remember, women, like they say, are more emotionally or more emotional than men. Well, if you ask me, I'll say that both men and women are emotional, but it's just that women tend to be more expressive about their emotions. Number four, lack of intimacy, passion, and sex. Lack of intimacy, passion, and sex. Now, when a relationship lacks good 
intimacy, good sexual sessions, and you know, fire burning. Oh my God, that steaming hot love making and all the goodies that comes with it. <sighs> you are in trouble as a man. Because if a woman is not getting that from you, she's gonna wanna look for it somewhere else. And then sometimes, man, you just need to take a little bit more time to understand a woman's emotions. Not just, oh, okay, sweetie, I want it and I want it now. You just get it and you all ruffle up and you all up on her and that's it. No, women need that emotion. They need that intimacy from you. They need that passion. You're into her, you're into it. Now, listen to me. Let's assume that you're dating. You know how dating is sometimes when it starts out, it's all hot and everything. You can get enough of each other. When once that steam goes down, you're in trouble. You need to find a way to bring back the steam in that relationship with that woman. You need to be back. We're back on track. You got to get back on track with it, all right? If not, you're going to miss that woman. Well, some women actually do have high libido. I hope you know that, man. And sometimes, man, because of the things that you go through, you have to provide for your family, you have to provide for yourself, you have to provide for the kids, other extended family members sometimes, it affects your libido. But listen to me. <laughs> if you're with a woman that has a high libido, you're gonna have to find a way to strike a balance with it. Now I'm on point number five. Why do women cheat? Needs need for attention and being wanted need for attention and being wanted now at this point women need a lot of attention just like we always say oh well you know men are like babies honey let me give you a little news flash so are women as much as women want to be mothers, want to be nurturers and caregivers and love you and be there, be the mother of your children, love you and care for you, they also need that attention. Are you giving the attention that is needed? For instance, your woman finished dressing up and she's in the mirror looking at herself, admiring herself, and she's taking a little bit too long on the mirror. She's trying to get your attention to say, honey, you're good to go. Honey, you're beautiful. Honey, you're sexy. Can we go now? And sometimes some men miss this cue that my girlfriend, my wife is spending so much time on the mirror just staring at herself. That's the point where you just psst, pause and say, sweetie, you look beautiful. You are astonishingly very, very sexy, very, very attractive. She comes back from work and she's tired. Her feet hurt. Don't say, well, I need you to go cook the meal. Dinner is not ready. And you start ranting and raving all over the house because dinner is not ready. Didn't you know that when you cook for a woman, that is actually giving a little bit of attention that you actually care that she's also a working class woman? And what if she's a housewife? Some may ask. <laughs> Tending to the house is a lot of work. It is not as easy as you think. So it wouldn't be so wrong, Mr. CEO, Mr. President of company, MD, to get off work early and say, sweetie, I want to make dinner for us today. That is giving her attention and getting her off her feet. So men, I hope I'm giving you some good pointers here. Why do women cheat? Women don't just cheat, by the way. Women don't just wake up and go say, I'm going to go cheat. Before women cheat, it takes a lot of time and a lot of thinking now because of the way society has made women to be like. Society has put a woman in a place of always having to be sensitive to how she moves, how she talks, who she's talking to at any point in time. And so every now and then, things will slip off out of control. So don't judge. Find out why did she do what she did because of the pressure that is being placed on women daily in our society. And let me add this before I move to point number six. Men, stop having this entitlement attitude, entitlement mentality. Oh, it's okay for a man to cheat. After all, it's a man's world. So why should a man might not cheat? It's okay for a man to cheat, especially in African culture and African society. Oh, it's okay for a man. No, honey, it is not okay for a man to cheat. All right. When you've made up your mind to be in a relationship with somebody, make it a monogamous relationship. Look at the golden rule. Do unto others what you will have them do unto you. What you wouldn't accept somebody else doing to you, don't do it to somebody else. And should what you are doing to a woman is being done to you by the same woman, honey, try to fix it and 
move on from there. Don't have the entitlement attitude, entitlement mentality. I think it's time that we speak up against this entitlement attitude with men, that it is a man's world. No, honey, it is not a man's world. It is our world. Point number six, why do women cheat? Feeling neglected, ignored, unappreciated. <sighs> so many reasons, so many reasons why women cheat. And this is one of the big major ones. Negligence. Sometimes a woman is forgotten, neglected, not remembered, not even seen to be as important in the grand scheme of things. Men would take up decisions, important decisions, major decisions in relationship, especially marital relationship, and they forget that they're actually married. Why? Mentality. So man's world. So I mean, she's not the one making the money. So she's not the one making the money, but I bet you there is something she's contributing positively into your life that is making your life easy. That if you were to take her out of the equation, your equation would no longer be balanced. You would not be able to solve a lot of things. So negligence, neglecting. You don't appreciate the simple gesture as picking up your clothes from the dry cleaner, as making sure when you come back home from work, you have a warm meal sitting on the dining, waiting for you, as doing homework for the children, with the children, getting them to bed and making sure it's quiet so you can have peace of mind and rest. Why don't you just stop and say, I appreciate everything you have done. Send a card, send a note, send flowers, especially from the Western culture. Send flowers to her and let her know that you appreciate every little gesture that she has done to make your life easy. In the African culture, Women love to have nice wrappers, nice wears, nice clothes, nice shoes, nice handbag, probably weaves. Give her a night out, give her some, you know, a treat. Come home with something from a fast food or something and appreciate her and let her know, honey, dinner is on me today, don't cook. Show appreciation every little way that you can. This would actually keep your relationship intact. Number seven, she wants to feel like a bad girl. <laughs> It's one of the common reasons why we may cheat in a relationship. They just want to feel like this bad girl. They just want to feel like, I can get away with it. I can do it too and get away with it. I'm not going to be caught <laughs> in the act. But usually, sometimes, they always get caught in the act. And then again, you know what? Peer pressure. Peer pressure. Every one of us have gone through peer pressure where we've done something because somebody else was doing it. So don't come up in here and be watching this show and be acting like you are holier than thou. I'm sure there's one point in time in your life where your peers influenced you to do something that you didn't want to do. Matter of fact, go hit on a girl that, man, really, you didn't want to hit on the girl or just want to try to get some kind of loving from a woman that you really didn't want to be with or you just wanted to do something or just want to cheat because everybody around you was doing it. So she just want to feel like a bad girl. So I want to call that peer pressure in relationship could also make people to cheat when you're listening to what your friends are saying. Yeah, even men, even in married relationship. Women too, when they, they hear their friends saying how the sex is with the boyfriend or the husband and they're not getting it at home too, hey, they want to go try it out and want to be a bad girl to get away with it. <sighs> Number eight, afraid to missing something. You know what? See, sometimes women get married, and in the marital relationship, they're committed to it. They have their heart, they have their mind, they have everything involved in this relationship. So number eight and number seven is kind of related. They feel like they're missing something. And then sometimes, you know, people get comfortable when they're in a relationship. Then the things that they used to do before, they don't do it again. A man used to woo a woman. He stops wooing the woman. He stopped caring. He stopped giving those compliments. So at that point in time, a woman might just feel that there is something that she's missing. So, hey, man, take her time. Give her compliments. Take her time. Rub her legs. Take her time. Cuddle your woman. Take her time. Give her that intimacy. Show her that you love her. Show her that you care. Because when once a woman is feeling that she's missing something, and her friends are getting it and she's not getting it, there is a great percentage, an increased percentage chance that she's going to cheat. There is a high risk right there that she's going to actually cheat on you. And like I said, this is most common, all right, that somebody will cheat. Number nine, men, 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 you know how sometimes You'll be feeling like you the done did it, 
you know, done got it. You're working with the whole Titanic size. You're the super size, super Mac, you know, you, you everything, you Big Mac and all of that. Let me tell you something. Sometimes the reason why a woman shit is because the man is not good in bed. Outright. Like, I'm, I don't know how to sugarcoat point number nine. It's just that you don't, you don't know how to hold your side. You don't know how to make a lady scream and moan. You don't know how to make her feel good like a woman. You don't, you don't know how to just make her be. Just wake up and say, thank you, honey. That was good. You, you, you don't know how to do that. You just not, you, you're not good in bed. So you need to work on yourself as a man. And they'll say, how can she go and cheat? I give her everything, honey. <sighs> I don't know how to say this and say it nicely. When a man is not able to please a woman sexually in bed, it's one of the reasons why you're gonna, she's, you're gonna lose her, she's not gonna respect you. It's not just money. It's just the fact that you don't know how to please her. You don't know how to be a man. You know, hold it, make it happen. But yet you're feeling like, you're the dumb, you're the baddest, you got it going on, you're everything. That could make a woman shit. Bad performance in the bedroom on the man's part, all right? And we are on number 10. She wants to experience something new. She wants to experience something new. I know you're watching and you're looking at me like, no, what's new? We've been on vacation. We've been here. We've been there. We <laughs> really? Let me tell you something. When a woman is on an adventure to experience something new, it means she hasn't felt good about herself or being with you in that relationship for a very, very long time. And when this happens, she is bound to experience something new. Especially, you know, men, y'all just get carried away with, she's my wife, she has my kids, she ain't going nowhere. Nah, wrong. Because immediately she finds another man say to her, baby, I saw you walking down the street. I couldn't just help but pause to admire the way you look. I love the way your backside was moving. I love the way your legs and your curves are carved by God. It was just clearly made for me. When last did you say that to her? <laughs> oh my God. I'm not laughing, but that's the truth. At that point, that man has gotten her attention because she hasn't felt that kind of compliment a long time. It makes her feel good. And sometimes, come on man, let down your guards for your woman, all right? So that when somebody else give her that kind of compliment and she wants to try something new, she gonna remember, oh well, my baby told me that yesterday. You know, women always have that comeback when a man is hitting on them and you've been a man and you've been on duty. Don't be a part-time husband or part-time boyfriend, all right? Be full-time on what you're doing, care. The same way you enjoyed the chase, chasing her. Continue to chase her even after you're married to her. Don't say, okay, I have it all figured out. She's gonna get bored. And you know with boredom comes a lot of distraction and wanting to get things done differently. So of course, she's gonna wanna try something new. But if you are the man, the McCoy, not Stanley now, McCoy who knows what's up, I'm sure you got your game down pack. What number am I on right now? Oh, number 11, revenge, revenge, yes, revenge, Ooh. Mm, revenge. She just wants to revenge for all the times you cheated on her, for all the times you done did her wrong, for all the times you weren't there. So yes, revenge could make a woman cheat. Sometimes men just do things and they forget that women are also flesh and blood. It just comes in like an adrenaline that pops into her head. Why not? If not, at that point, the spirit of revenge just, oh. Peace. Things are never what they seem to be. Changing minds, changing attitudes. Bring yourself.
house to leave a prison wall Changing minds, changing attitudes Bring ourselves to leave a prison wall Show some love, hold each other's hands In confidence we'll make the world a better place Just part of my new show.